Okay, um, it's been sinking now. Bitcoin Core has been sinking, and it says I'm three three hours behind. Three hours behind. When I first downloaded this, I think I was nine years behind. And uh, so anyway, here it is. Number of blocks left. Seventeen blocks. I've got to do. And it says twenty minutes till um, sink. <clears throat> So I'll pause here and come back in a little while and should be uh, all synced and ready to go. Well, we just missed it. I just came here and um, I just switched from that uh, green line to this. So this is finally, I am synced or the Bitcoin Core wallet is synced. And this is what it looks like. This is the overview page like and here's the send page the receive page we're going to use this and these are all the transactions this is just a list of the transactions okay up here there's a help there's a debug window a command line options about bitcoin core about qt i believe qt was the well qt is a c++ toolkit it kind of it used to be called QT. Whoops. Bitcoin Core is copyrighted by the Bitcoin Core developers. Okay. Okay. So that was the help. Here's file. Now a lot of this I don't understand. Backup wallet, sign message, verify message, sending addresses, receiving addresses. Um, I'll probably explore those someday, but not right now. Here's the settings. There's Encrypt Wallet, and I want to do that. I've been, I don't exactly know why, but everybody says to encrypt it. Options. There's a whole bunch of wallet. Here's the wallet. Start Bitcoin Core on system login, stuff like that. Network. Ooh, brother. Okay, I don't know what all that is. The debug window. Now this debug window, I, I'm not sure what that is, but here's console, network traffic, and peers. I don't know what network traffic is or peers. I don't know what that is, but console Got it. I used this once because I wanted to find out the private keys for some Bitcoin that I had in Bitcoin Core, and I was able to do it here at the console. There are commands that you can use. This, this is kind of like the old DOS uh, commands. You gotta just type them in. And I think if we just type in help or let's see, oh, hear me. Yeah, if we just say help, let's see what happens. Well, it didn't do anything. Uh, commands? I'm not sure, but there is a way to do it. It was, um, there was, one of the commands is show non-zero uh, public addresses, Bitcoin addresses, and uh, then there was a command called uh, show private keys, or get private keys, and it would display the private key. The Bitcoin, Bitcoin Core does keep your private keys. Oh, here are, maybe here are the commands. List accounts. Oh, yeah, okay. So these are all the commands. Oh, there it is. Okay. Get blockchain. Okay, when I, I guess I tapped in help and it showed me all this. Get block non zero. There's a whole bunch of commands in here. And one of them is get the. Um, get the uh, private key so you can get your private key I'm not sure if you can get your private keys like coinbase uh, hopefully you should be able to okay that was the console and that came from the debug window and here's command line options oh. okay these might be some more commands okay okay something to check on sometime but for now, there is the overview. It has received, it has received, sent, received, sent. 
and most recently received some bitcoins. That was just a couple days ago. And I have 0.00449675 bitcoins here. Okay, so right now, and and the next few videos we're gonna I'm gonna send from here or send from Coinbase to here, and then I'm gonna send from here to Coinbase. But let's I'm just gonna encrypt this wallet right now because everybody says, and I'm gonna try it and show you how to do it. Um, enter the new passphrase to the wallet. You please use a passphrase of ten or more random characters or eight or more words. Okay. Well, I happen to have. One all ready, and I'm gonna hit Control V because I've already. You would just have to type it in. Oh, okay. Okay, now I have. Enter the new password. Okay, so I've got it. Wrong. If you warning, <laughs> if you encrypt your wallet and lose your passphrase, you will lose all of your bitcoins. Are you sure you wish to encrypt your wallet? Yes. Okay, I guess you could do a new one. Bitcoin Core will now close to finish the encryption process. Remember that every encrypting your wallet cannot fully protect your bitcoins from being stolen by malware infecting your computer. See, that's the problem. When you're, when you're using your computer and you're connected to the internet, there is a possibility. That's why putting it in cold storage offline is, is safe. Any previous backups you have made of your wallet file should be replaced with a newly generated encrypted wallet file. For security reasons, previous backups of the unencrypted wallet file will become useless as soon as you start to use the new encrypted wallet. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see if it also keeps my... Um... Okay, Bitcoin Core is shutting down. Do not shut down the computer until this window disappears. When you, when you turn, if you decide to turn off Bitcoin Core... Um, you'll get that message. And then it, when it disappears, you can turn off your computer. Okay, that's enough for now. But there are other videos coming.